Have you heard of the hidden languages of northern Scandinavia? Hello, welcome to Light Linguistics. Scandinavia is dominated by the primary languages of its countries, Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian. These languages are in the Indo-European language family, along with just about every language on this tree behind me. But in the far north, there are some indigenous languages that are nothing like anything in this massive family. These are the Sami languages spoken by the Sami people. The Sami are historically nomadic and known for their colorful clothing and herding reindeer. And instead of the Indo-European family, the Sami languages are members of the Uralic family, which includes Finnish, Estonian, Hungarian, and a lot of linguistic minority languages spread across Northern Europe and Russia. It's called the Uralic languages because they're hypothesized to originate from the Ural Mountains around five to 7,000 years ago. The languages spread through land across the north until they've reached the extent they're at today. Hungarian went south, but that's its own video. In contrast, Old Norse came into Scandinavia from the south through Germany and Denmark. And you can actually see the historical border between the Old Norse and Sami when looking at linguistic maps and archaeology. Historically, the Sami people have been repressed by the nations that rose up around them, even to this day. But recently, they've been making it into pop culture with movies like Klaus and Frozen 2. In Klaus, there's a little girl that speaks exclusively Sami. These languages have really interesting linguistic features like vowel harmony and an intricate case system, but that's a story for another day. Hope you enjoyed this and like and follow for more language.